All right, don't let the fear of bugs or the sun stop you from enjoying the outdoors. There are some natural and chemical-free alternatives to bug repellents and sunscreens. Here with us to discuss these options this morning is Dr. Megan McCusker, a dermatologist at the Yukon Health Center. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Todd. So I put on sunscreen yesterday, and I yeah. smelled awful, and I can only imagine <laughs> that it had some very powerful chemicals in it. These do not. Tell us a little bit about these. So one of the things you want to do in order to keep yourself safe in the sun is you can modify your behavior. That's the first thing that you can do from a natural perspective. You want to avoid the sun, if you can, from 10 to 4 when the sun is the strongest. And then one of the simplest ways is to put on a hat, put on sun protective clothing, especially for people who hate to lather um, or are going to be out for prolonged periods of time. There are special hats, Tilly hats, which are available at REI, EMS, and other um, outdoor facilities, outdoor but what about a situation a like yesterday? Yes. It's one to four. Yes. People want to be in the ocean because it's so hot out. Right. What do they do? So um, basically we get back to uh, good old-fashioned zinc oxide. Um, basically our, our choices are chemical sunscreens or, um, or the physical blocking agents, which are zinc and titanium. And there's some issues with some of the chemical-based sunscreens, so we want to kind of stick with just the plain old zinc oxide. Um, people often ask what number should you look for, and really that only refers to the ultraviolet B protection, but what you're really looking for is is broad spectrum for both uh, UVA and UVB. Zinc oxide is a great alternative for that. One of my favorites is one made, made by All Terrain, which is a spray zinc oxide, which has an all-natural base. Okay. People really like the sprays because they don't really like to goop themselves right. up. And um, that's a great 19% zinc oxide. What are the problems with the, let's call them old-fashioned sunscreens, the sure. one that you know, we all use growing up? So, um, so the chemical-based sunscreens, what we found is a few things. Uh, the chemicals convert the ultraviolet radiation to heat, which is actually uncomfortable for some patients. And also for other, um, when you put on the chemical sunscreens and you go out in the sun, it oftentimes, people get an allergic reaction from their sunscreens. And the third and probably the uh, more serious that we're starting to learn is that there may be some horm hormonal type effects of some of these chemical sunscreens, especially oxybenzone, also known as benzophenone 3. Um, and you know, we can't necessarily know now the long-term consequences for our children. Um, for with, with uh, head-to-toe lathering with those chemical sunscreens. And we don't have those same problems with the zinc and the titanium. Exactly. Got the it. zinc and the titanium, they, both, they cover both UVA and UVB. They're recommended for kids six, six months of age and older. And um, you really want to apply every couple of hours for the best protection. In the time we have remaining, let's get to the bug spray. Sure. I haven't put on bug spray in a while, but I remember when I did put it on, it smelled awful, and it just seemed like I was, I was walking into a chemical screen of DEET or something like that. Right, right. So, honestly, it's really hard to find a good smelling... Right. So, uh, a bug repellent, honestly. Um, so DEET has been around for many years, since the 1950s. It's very effective um, and it's broad spectrum as far as taking care of uh, ticks and biting flies, all kinds of things. But for people who don't want to be spraying themselves with chemicals, there are some natural alternatives, such as soy oil is actually found to be effective, as well as lemon eucalyptus, um, and also um, catnip. Um, so those are actually three ingredients that you can choose that are um, D alternatives. Um, Repel is one that you can find at Target stores. That's more over the, you know, more um, over the counter. And then uh, there's also one um, you can find at other Whole Food stores. Um, something called Soy Wheat Life, which has both catnip and soy oil in Good it. Good stuff. You sold me on the lemon eucalyptus. There's <laughs> no chance I'm going to put on catnip. Okay. Thank you so much, Thanks Dr. So Megan McCusker. Thank you for joining okay, us and giving us this you. great Thanks. information.